Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It is time for some more. Let's play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last part, we took out Yin Yarn. We beat the final boss. And in this part, we are going to do the last two secret missions of Dreamland and pretty much the last two platforming levels of the entire game. I said that exact same thing in the last part, so yeah. Alright, first one up. Meta Melon Isle. The gimmick here is that they're going to make you go through four or five of the transformations that we went through on our adventure, which is pretty cool. It's kind of cool that they threw this in. So first up we have the motorbike. I still don't know what this is. Some kind of motorbike. Nah, yeah, whatever. And luckily we're not racing anybody, so there's no rush. Then again, we are constantly moving. So yeah, it is kind of a rush. And yes, we can take down rocks because we're cool. Alright, so... Oh, here we go. Alright, so yeah, I'm getting ready for summer, basically. Uh, me and my friend decided that we're going to keep track of every game that we beat over the summer. And I guess once I get back from summer vacation, I can talk to you guys about that. Just play games we've beaten. And then, ooh, next transformation. We haven't seen this in a while. Yeah, I don't think we've done this since World 2, actually. So yeah, me, me and my friend are going to keep track of all the games we beat. And right now, I'm thinking I'm going to try and beat, um, beat Fire Red. Because I started it a while ago, and I never really finished it, so yeah. Alright, now, in this segment with the fire engine thing, there is actually a treasure, but you need to kill an enemy to get it, and the enemy is... Oh yeah, and also, you need to spare water on the lava here so you can walk across it, which is... You'd think it'd be kind of cool, but it's actually more annoying than anything, so palm chair! Alright, so there's the enemy you need to beat. And then we should be able to just spray our way over here, and okay, next transformation. The dolphin! I have to admit, over the course of this LP, I've gone from liking the transformation to not liking it at all. Because normally when you have to use it, it's for an extremely long and tedious mission. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this anymore. But whatever, we'll go with it. And die please, thank you. I'm amazed at that. I'm, I'm amazed that didn't hurt me actually, I got really lucky there. Oh. Okay, that's not good enough. And how are you not hurting me? These things just like me now, don't they? Mm, okay. Oh, psh! Whatever, I guess they don't like me, but meh. Alright, I do want to get these beats, though. Then again, we got the bronze medal, so... For 100% value, we've already done it, so... Alright, next transformation. Another transformation I don't like at all. Yep, just like last time. B to turn around, and A to make your track. Luckily, this goes by a little quicker than usual. Seeing as how it is supposed to be just a little segment. But I, I do like how quick pace this level is, though. You know, they do a pretty good job just throwing you into one transformation, to the next one, and to the next one. Yeah, I like it. Quite a bit, actually. Alright. So, yeah, this entire world, I do really like, though. There, there, there's not one level in this world I particularly don't like. Although, Tempest Towers was kind of an annoyance. I'll... Yeah, I don't like that level too much. And also, I think it was Cloudy Core. Was, was that what it's called? No, that, that, that was Galaxy from Super Mario. <laughs> what am I thinking? Um, oh, I do want to get those beads. And I think there are three extra cards you can get here to give you more beads at the end. One star each, in case you're wondering. And... I can has... Yay! So yeah, there, it's, it's supposed to be like a constellation. Con it's constellation? I can never get that word right, but whatever. And there is the second treasure, just sitting there. Yeah. Ice cream! And yeah, you can get three cards here really easily, actually. Almost almost makes it not worth to get all these other beats here, so... And I think this is the first time I've ever had a chance to, like... Like, in this game, when I'm doing this mini game, I think that's the only chance I've ever gotten to, like, mess with the pointer in my LPs. But whatever. Next transformation, I think this is the last one. The Surfboarder! Alright, so, uh... After this LP, once again, I'm not too fond of this transformation. As a matter of fact, I don't like a lot of the transformations anymore. Uh, oh well. I do, I do still like the fire, the fire engine, though. That's a pretty cool one. Even even if it isn't extremely fast-paced, but... Alright, not, not, not everything needs to be fast-paced for me to like it, of course, so... Rainbows! Double rainbow all the way... Fun fact, I didn't know about that meme until, like, a week ago. Yeah. Pretty sad, actually. And... Yay! Stuff! Did we get all the treasure? Yes, we did. And if I can get the bonus here, I can get the gold medal. Let's see. Yay! Gold medals! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just what it reminded me of. Alright, and... Don't you missed. Oh, well, we still got it. Just barely. Jeez. Alright, and now... Oh god, I'm getting tired. It's like... 10. <laughs> it's 10pm. Yeah, um, it's kind of weird that I'm getting tired. Also, I woke up at 1.30pm today. Like, I know you're supposed to wake up late during the summer, but I normally don't wake up that late, seriously. 
And we got the Galac was it the Galaxia Sword patch? Yeah, I think that's what it was. I'm assuming that's a reference to um, Galactic Knight from Super Su from Kirby Superstar Ultra. All right, and what does that do? It cuts up the clouds for some reason. And we have the access to the last mission of the game. And one of my favorites. Just like Castle Date today. I love this mission so much. And even though even though it's implying that it's moving, it obviously isn't, so yeah. Battleship Halberd. It seems like whatever game that this that this mission is, e even if it isn't directly a Kirby game, like in the Subspace Emissary, a brawl, this is just an awesome, awesome level. And I'm looking forward to recording it. Oh look at that I am. Psh. And in that shot, for some reason, they de they depict it as being purple. I wonder if they depict it the same way in the in the actual, you know, level. But of course, we're gonna transform one last time into this thing. God, Kirby. Yeah, that's that, that's just what I call it because I honestly don't know what this is supposed to be. All right, sure, die. And I, I love the music here too. It's a remix of um, The Revenge of Better Night. Oop. Um, just like. Uh, just a gourmet race. There's a whole bunch of remixes on of this for a lot of games, and yeah, they, they depict it as being purple here too. I wonder why. Mm, whatever. And we have cannons here that fire buttons. No, not buttons. Extremely slow buttons. All right, so the treasures here, the treasures here are going to be hidden inside of these cannons and other enemies that you destroy. All right, that one in particular didn't have one, but whatever. That would have been a, you know, a nice example, though, but whatever. <laughs> and there's one. Galaxia Sword. Didn't we just use that as a patch? I guess it doesn't say. Oh, well. The Bowship Halberd. I'm not sure what that means. Like, I, I know the word Halberd means something other than, you know, ship. So, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. In case you're wondering, um, if you're a complete Kirby noob, this ship is owned by Meta Knight. It's never really explained, like, who Meta Knight really is. Like, he's just kind of Kirby's rival, you know? And... He's not hes not in direct... Um, like, he, he, he doesn't work with Day-to-Day. -day because, especially in Brawl, like, the backstory behind, um... The Halberd is that King Day-to-Day -Day and Meta Knight were actually battling when the, when the Halberd got taken over by the, um, Subspace Emissary. So yeah, they're so they definitely don't work together. Maybe in the past Kirby games they did, but definitely not in the more recent ones. Meta Knight has always been a character all by himself. You, um... In most games, you just fight him as the second to last boss. Especially when, you know, this would be an example. And they don't they never explain why Kirby fights him though. You know, he's and so overall he is a good character. Like especially in, in the final boss fight we had in, in the last part. You know, he helped us out, he gave us the tank power up, so not quite sure why Kirby always wants to fight him, but I don't know, maybe it's like the Pokemon rival. <laughs> but yeah, Met 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 does always pull through to, you know, help us out when the world's in danger, you know. Right. And actually, Meta Knight has his own um, has his own campaign in Kirby Superstar Ultra. Although it's basically just a replica of the regular campaign, except you get to play as Meta Knight and as a final boss. So I guess it is cool that they threw that in there for that game. I did I did enjoy that campaign. So oh, I know there's a treasure here. Yep, I was right. The Knight helmet, and that's supposed to be um, Meta Knight's helmet. In case you're wondering, under Meta Knight's helmet, he's actually just a blue Kirby. Yeah. I was kind of surprised when I saw that, actually. I think the first time I saw that was in, um, Squ uh, Squeak Squad. Oh, There we go. And then most of the Kirby games, before you fight Meta Knight, they give you a sword to make it more epic, because it's like, you know, you with the sword power up, and then he has a sword. And it, it does work. Those battles normally are really fun and epic and stuff. And, and you know it's good when a Kirby game is epic, so... <laughs> yeah. And... How do those... How do those things... Like, how, how do those enemies get rockets again? I don't, I don't even know. Alright, and... Then I believe one of these has a treasure. At least they have beads. And die. I, I, I do. Like, the entire soundtrack of this game, actually. Like, I was, I was just about to talk about this song. But I guess th this entire soundtrack has. It's just really calm music, kind of quirky sometimes. I, I just really love the soundtrack of this game. Alright, and we got all the treasures now. And. To end off the main part of this LP, we have a boss battle. Well, maybe not a boss battle, but more like a mini boss. So you definitely want to take out these little mini blasters, but if you can, shoot, shoot at the emerald at the at the middle. That, that, that's your main target, the, em the emerald. But you want to take these out so that you can hit that a little more easily. 
yeah, you'll you find yourself just kind of alternating alternating between them. Excuse me. All right, now we can just shoot this with no worries. How anticlimactic. <laughs> Okay, this is really anticlimactic, I'm sorry. Alright, and done. Come on, scroll faster. Yeah, this is this is the only side scrolling mission pretty much ever that I actually like. Alright, and it's not looking like I'm gonna get a gold medal. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And we're done. The last platforming mission of the entire game. And this is the last time I'll be recording in about two months. Well, no, more even. Like, two and a half months. Maybe even three months, actually. I'll go a little more in-depth on that in a few here. As soon as we get this little alert. Nice job, you completed tunes. And medals. So I'm gonna meet you guys back in Patch Plaza. I don't know, why don't we just go there by... You know, I'll show me, venturing back to there. Okay, so how this is gonna go... After I, I may have already explained this, but I, I just want to reestablish it now because this is kind of a good time. Um, after this, I'm going to cover the post game of Coliseum. When I get back from New Jersey, I'm gonna cover that, and then after I cover that, I'm gonna cover the rest of this game. Yeah, as you, as you can see here, all we have left is the cast, and these are all just friends, I guess, that we haven't really introduced yet. We have the stuff. You get half of these from doing the levels and finding the treasures, and you get the other half. Um, oh yeah, you get that. You, you get the other half by by um, buying them from the shop. And then fabrics. You see, we have one percent there. You get half of these from buying them, and then the other half from doing the friend mini games. Every single friend mini game gives you a fabric, which is why we need to do all of them. So yeah, that's basically what I'll be covering: the friend mini games. I'm not sure how many parts it'll take me. I'm thinking it'll take me about 10. And then after I cover that, I will show the credits and we can really end this project. So I've had a lot of fun recording this. And I don't know, I'm trying to think of something good to say before I go off for the summer. Then again, as you're watching this, it is the end of the summer. So I'm just going to end it. Bye.